I'm Nicholas, this is Redline Ranch, and today we're building custom off-road blinkers. I know it's kind of a weird thing to do, but it's something I need to do and something I need to take care of. So I'm gonna take you guys along and show you how you can make yourself a set of cheap off-road blinkers so that when you throw an off-road bumper on your Toyota or anything else where the blinkers are in the bumper, you can relocate them to somewhere more efficient and more effective that is also going to give it a nice sleek look. This is my 1997 Toyota 4Runner that I built into a little bit of an overlander. Usually it's got a rooftop tent and an awning that live on top. We've taken it from the west coast to the center of the country. And uh, we absolutely love camping in it and we love off-roading it. We've got front and rear bumpers on it. It's got 33s, it's got a three inch lift. One of the big issues with putting an off-road bumper on a Toyota is the blinkers are in the bumpers. So when I went ahead and mounted this bumper up, I put these little blinkers on. They're all I could really find and we were getting ready to go on a trip, so I need to make sure we have blinkers. But the thing is, is they're not in a very obvious location. It's kind of hard to see them. And that one obviously already broke off because I was off-roading and I hit something with it. Since I broke those off, I need to replace them and I want to move them to a nice sleek location that is easier to see at night, better to look at during the day because that's just ugly. And I'm also going to move it to a location that I don't think it's gonna get into near as much stuff and is gonna be less likely to get damaged. So there's a couple options when you can relocate the blinkers on these Toyotas to make it look more factory. Some people put a secondary bulb in the marker light so the marker light acts as a blinker and as the marker light. Other people have gone ahead and put some lights in here and they sell them aftermarket. What I did is I went to Tractor Supply. I bought a pack of six of these little LED marker lights for a trailer. I'm going to drill holes and use the grommets to put them in these little filler panels that go under each of the headlights. And that's going to give me three bulbs that are going to be nice and bright, give a nice shine off and be in a location that no matter where you are relative to the Forerunner, you can still see those little filler tabs under the headlights. Whereas I cannot see the blinker on the other side right now. And when you walk over here, it's the same for this side. You can't see that blinker from this side. So it's gonna be in a lot better location for visibility at night. It's gonna be safer to drive at night and just give drivers a better idea of what I'm trying to do. And on top of that, it was $20 for all six of these and I'm using a $4 step bit from Harbor Freight to drill the holes. So let's get into it. I'm gonna show you guys how you can turn pretty much any panel on any car into a blinker or marker light with a drill and uh, about 20 bucks. These are about $4 or $5 a piece. First things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop the hood on this thing. We're gonna be able to take the grill off. That'll give us access to the bolts that hold these filler panels on so we can get these turn signals started. All right, so I've got both of the little filler panels off of the Forerunner. This is the little proof of concept I was doing just to see how bright everything works and how everything looks. And I think it's gonna look really good. It's nice and bright, it's just off the Milwaukee battery, but obviously it's gonna be wired in better. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start drilling holes in this. First, I'm gonna mark everything out. I'm gonna mark the center, and then I'm gonna mark the center of the two sides so that it looks nice and even. Then I can drill holes in both of them with the tri pilot drill bit. After I do that, I'm gonna go all the way up to three quarters of an inch. I'm using a step bit. Be a little bit careful with the step bit. You don't go too high because these will not fit if you go too big of a hole. Bam, right and left. Now I just need to snip some wires, crimp some wires, and get this ready to go onto the foreigner. All right, so I've got a length of black wire, a length of white wire, some crimps, some heat shrink, some crimping tools, stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna crimp all of these together. I want these wires to go towards the outside, so that's gonna be towards the side that doesn't get the bolt and down towards the out of the corner. So I'm gonna leave these full length. I'm gonna snip these and these and try and get them all similar length right over here. Hmm. 
Now I just need to bring a couple more crimps and some heat shrink, and we'll get this wired in. I want this to go in as such. This side's unfortunately already broken. And uh, we're gonna intercept the wiring right here, which is where I intercepted it last time. Except this time, we're gonna do it better. All right, we got them both installed. I got them both wired up. They seem to be sturdy. Last thing we need to do is reinstall the grill and make sure everything works still. So these grills just clip right on, makes it nice and easy. Just gotta get everything lined up and there we go. Grill's on. I guess we can even drop this hood. Now, do the blinker still work? Yep. And I genuinely think it's a lot more visible than it was before. Look at that. I like it. You can actually see what's going on from the side. You can see both of them. They're nice and discreet. They're out of the way. And overall, I don't think they hurt the aesthetic of the build at all. So super pumped about that. There we have it. We got blinkers now. So I really like the way they look. They're up, they're out of the way. They're over the bumper. They uh, aren't gonna take any damage and they look pretty sleek. They're a lot brighter than the ones we had in there before. And they're in a more visible spot. So you can see them from the sides, you can see them from the corners. You're not worrying if someone can see your blinker and uh, hopefully this will reduce people just turning into us and merging into us when we're doing things. Who knows? One of my favorite parts about this mod is it's not just specific to one vehicle. I could do this on anything. You could easily do it in something like T100, just throwing them in the grill or anything like that.